So I'm heading to Mike's to go see if I can help get his caterpillar started and start the next next bit of work. I'm trying to get our bus onto our land. Here we go. Do you think that emergency brake works on this thing? He said, uh, oh, the emergency brake, I don't know. The reason I'm asking is in case something goes wrong, if you've got a way to put brakes on it. Oh, you weren't even recording? That was some good footage. So ultimately we made the plan. Instead of going and getting a generator and an air compressor to power the brakes, to just crash it into trees or an earth bank if it let loose. Well, hopefully that won't happen. Driving a bus with a cat engine. This is the corner we were quite concerned about. It's very sharp. Our neighbor's not too sure that he can get the bus up this part with just this one cat. We were looking around the road to see about some trees we could use to wench it up. I guess we will see what happens next. We went and woke up Jordan and Jacob to help us with this part. 
They both have wheel chocks and they'll walk beside the bus in case it starts rolling back. They'll throw the chucks underneath and then get out of the way. Just in case, because Mike is worried that our cat doesn't have enough traction. That's a good thing about being a 360. Mom. Mommy needs you to carry your juice, please. Say juice. Okay. Behind the scenes footage. I have to carry Raven everywhere because she's refusing to walk with a big machine around. And it's uphill. Here we go. There's the bus. Mom, my daddy. My daddy, no. My daddy is bus. My daddy is bus. Yeah. Yep, your daddy is in the bus. Yeah, my daddy is bus. I think it'll roll back. 
So we we left a left our truck down below so that in case we had the road blocked for an extended period of time. There's only two people who need to go above it, Mike and us. And so with Mike helping us, we don't really worry about anybody needing to get through. But um we were worried about maybe needing to go to get town and get some things and have all our vehicles stuck on the other side of the bus blocking the road. So we uh we've made it. We've made it to a spot I think that we can live with at least. Hi. So we've got it up this far and we're thinking of moving it onto this spot right here where we used to have the bus. It may or may not be the last resting spot. It's on our property. It means I can stop spreading. Well, in so many ways. The only problem is that it's plugging the road right now. Well, where are you going? <laughs> I guess nowhere. <laughs> I'm captive. I have to do something now. We are thinking of pulling it up a little more up to where they're at right now, and then we'll back it into this spot which doesn't look that big, but it is that big. <laughs> Sally's excited. Yeah, Sally likes it. But come on, truck, let's go. Walking. Mama, walking. I'm more braver. Gravity has stopped helping us. So now we're thinking about using the bulldozer to push it in place. So we have to take the chains off the bus. Take the chains off, turn the caterpillar around, maybe push it. Push it. Get my hand. 